beautiful bingers. It's another Saturday, so y'all know what that means. It's a Saturday commentary day, baby. What's good? All right, y'all read the title, so y'all already know what we're doing. We are doing 500 Days of Summer. It has been a long time since I watched this, this movie, like a very long time. I remember it being pretty depressing, honestly. Like, I don't, I don't remember having like happy-go-lucky feelings with this movie, but we're going to just rewatch it to find out. I know that it's not like a a, a Thanksgiving theme type of a movie. <laughs> it's it's really not like a holiday movie in general. Honestly, it's it's probably too depressing for a family holiday like Thanksgiving. But I felt like I wanted to kind of change it up since I've been doing a lot of childhood movies. I've also done action or comic book. I've done the scary. You know, y'all crucified me for when I stepped into the horror category. I can't wait to piss some more people off when I step back over there again at some point. But I was like, yo, I got to bring it back to something a little more, I don't know. I want, I would say calm, but I don't really know if this is calm. But either way, we're, we're just going to watch it together. If this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If there is a movie that you want to see me do a movie commentary slash reaction to, use the hashtag bingers in the comment section. And I might do it. I might not. All right. I just want y'all to know that this is a channel that I, I literally do whatever movie I feel like watching that day. So don't take offense if I haven't done your request yet. I, maybe it'll get done. Maybe it won't. I don't know. <laughs> But shout out to my editor, Antonio. Without him, these videos will not be as weekly as they have. Like I have been consistent, y'all, for months. This is unheard of from your boy. So please give my mans a follow. His social media links is right here on the screen. Give him a follow one time. Does a great job, you feel me? Also, follow me. All my social media links, bam, right on the screen. Give those a follow. And uh, yeah, y'all don't forget to leave a, a comment because your comment might be up in the video just like it is right now. Boom, there go one. Boom, there go one. Boom, there you go one. <laughs> I really appreciate y'all love. Oh, before this video starts though, I need you to understand that this is your first time, right? This is a movie commentary, so that means that you will be seeing more of me and less of the movie because of copyright, all right? If that's not your thing, just go watch the movie and get off this video, all right? Because I don't want to hear you complaining in my comment section because you decided to sit through a movie commentary slash reaction video. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, now that we've got the disclaimers out the way, let's get into the movie. The following is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. They want y'all to know right off the rip, especially you, Jenny Beckman. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yo, this is personal. I thought he was serious. Jenny, I'm sorry. And a total misreading of the movie, The Graduate. Yo, have y'all seen the movie, The Graduate? That is a really good movie. You should know up front, this is not a love story. You know what's funny? When I watch this movie, I don't know why I've never actually heard that before. Like, he lets you know right off the rip, this is not a love story. See, I see what they're doing. They're really building our relationship with these characters from the time that they were babies to the time that they meet and get together. Oh, they, they really pull you through all the emotions on this. Yo, this man hates life. That's exactly what it feels like when you're going through a breakup. Just, you're just dead inside. You're literally just a shell. I think we should stop seeing each other. Just like that? Ooh, that is, that is a tough pill to swallow right there. Happy? You're happy? You're not? Bro, you, if you, if you have to ask her, she, uh, you're the best guy I know. You'll get over her. I think it's kind of like... Bro, all of that stuff makes sense, but it doesn't make sense when you're feeling that, man. Like, that hurt that you feel, you really feel like you're not gonna move on. May 21st. Other Mother's Day. This fool is stupid! <laughs> Other Mother Day? Fate. Bro, the way she's looking at the camera, it looked like she ready to tear somebody's life up. Oh snap, my boy, now's your chance to make a move. Well, clearly you've come to the right place. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Get her laughing. Get her a couple mimosas. Go ahead, my boy. Lay the Mac down. They both give off like I'm miserable inside vibes. You used to call me anal girl. <laughs> I love her hair. I love her knees. I love this heart-shaped birth. You know he in love. He said I love her knees. When's the last time your man has looked at your knees? Never, I'm sure. It could have been in a world where good things happen to me. Yeah, well, that's not really where we live. No. Okay. Yo, his friends do not actually care about it. They're not even actually listening to him. They're playing the game. They really don't care what you talk about, bro. How's your weekend? 
It was good. Can you believe that shit? <laughs> she said it was good. Bro, take it from me. Don't ask the question. Don't don't do it. Mind your business. You'll get your feelings hurt. I'm telling you. Don't do it. Don't do it. For real. Hey, instead of hi. I mean, because you know that, that that means that she's a lesbian, right? <laughs> Look at the stupid stuff men do to get attention. Oh, oh, I'm sick. I am sick. Oh, you're not listening to me. What? The whole office is going. My boy, he's trying to put you in a game. The whole show up so you can talk to Summer. This man is in a whole nother season right now. I don't actually feel comfortable being anyone's anything, you know. Bruh, take that as a sign and run. She let you know right off the rip. Don't okay. mess with me, well, I'm damaged. There's no such thing as love, it's fantasy. Ooh, love is fantasy. <laughs> that Miss Wonder. <laughs> America, will we stop? Bruh, shut the karaoke down. Shut the karaoke down. Do you like me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's trying to play it cool. Like, girl, uh, you know I do. Come on. <laughs> I think you're interesting, and I'd like for us to be friends. Is that a bro? Bro, hello. She wants. She wants. Hello. Look at how she's looking at you. Yo, they kiss like two totem poles. What is? What? The, what, what is this? So you're not gonna say nothing to me. You just like. Attack my face, but you ain't gonna say nothing. Bro, if you don't take her into the break room. No, Andrew? Man, no, but uh, no jobs, I'm still on. <laughs> he said no jobs, I'm still unemployed. Nothing, really, you wanna go? Yeah, I'm stalking. I mean, I'm starving. She's good, she is good. Bro, the crazy thing is I'm realizing like she just wanted a friends with benefits situation. He got his heart all up in it. That's all she wanted. That's why she was like, we're just gonna be friends, right? That's all you want, right? Cause that's what I want too. Let's be friends. Friends. <laughs> Just in case there's anybody that's watching this and they're going, Billy, you're over sexualizing this movie. Please stop. Ugh, you're gross. Shut up. <laughs> Yo, telling y'all to shut up is my favorite thing to do. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this. There's a Chinese family in our bathroom. <laughs> he said there's a Chinese family in our bathroom. I'm not really looking for anything serious. Bruh, there is the green light right there. Run it up. Hi. Hi. Ayo, she's ready to go. That man feels like a new man, you hear me? <laughs> Everybody so happy and cheery with him? <laughs> yeah! Wait, hold on, time out. I forgot they do a dang dance in this. Bro, I mean, I'm sure sex was cool, but it wasn't all that, like for real. Oh, it got dark real quick, look! Oh, my guy is miserable. Oh, my guy is so miserable. I hope this means you're ready to be friends. Oh, bro. Just let it go, man. Let her go. Honestly, I really don't like how this movie plays with your emotions. Like, they bring you here just to bring you here. Just I mean, I know they said this ain't a love story, but damn. Yeah, that's it. Why y'all got it? This is a depressing movie, y'all. For real. How would you make them notice? I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like she really, she does, she's giving you those eyes. So it's like, I understand why you, you feel like it's deeper than what it is because like she, she's really playing you a little bit. Cause like it, the dreamy eyes. Okay, quick question. Do y'all think that a friends with benefits situation can last? And if it can last, how long until someone catches feelings or someone just doesn't want to do it anymore. Let me know from personal experience or just your opinion. Let me know in the comment section. I am curious. My boyfriend before Mark. <laughs> Yo, 
be like, when did you get a boyfriend? Just afraid we'll get Nancy don't want, which will shatter all the illusions of how great these past few months have been. And look, if it were me, I'd find out now before you show up at her place and, well, she's in bed with Lars from Norway. Yo, she is not like Your little sister is really giving you game right now. She's letting you know. Oh my. Who cares? I'm happy. Aren't you happy? Yeah. Bro, that is her way of telling you she doesn't want nothing more. She's like, yo, don't complicate this, man. Yo. How's it going? Uh, okay. You live around here? Yo, this this man. Yeah, my boy. You see how you walked up? That's how you you giving off real friend vibes. My guy just slid in. You with this guy? Hey, I'm Tom. Whatever. So come on, one drink. Oh, hell no. You're not about to disrespect me, bro. Nah, you're not about to. I mean, I know that's not your girl, but still. You, come on, my dude. I just got my ass kicked for you. Ex that's exactly. Oh, that's exactly why you. Oh, oh this movie is put, just dragging me through it. I just don't want to run. Well, you're not the only one that gets to say in this. I do too. And I say we're a couple. God damn it. Yo, see, and that's and that's exactly why you don't have a chance right there. You got to be able to control yourself, man, under every scenario. You got to. First of all, you can't force this girl to be in a relationship with you. Talk about I get to say too, and I say we a couple. Like, that's not how that works either. I shouldn't have done that. Bro, she about to play with your feelings again. Send her on her way. This movie has me. Low key, I'm starting to get mad. <laughs> it's, 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 it's making me feel like when I watched The Notebook for the first time. Just, that girl was playing with so many dudes' emotions, man. Just, just, that was me. I heard. I heard. For a brief time in college, there was, um, there was Charlie. Bro, you shouldn't ask these questions if you are not ready for the answers, man. Take it from me. You gonna hear some things that's gonna, huh, 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 and you might not be able to recover. Yeah, look, look, you can see it in his face. He's uncomfortable. What always happens? Life. Bro, what always happens is her. Her, she's what always happens. Penis. Penis. Bro, that's how you know you in love, cause y'all just doing goofy stuff for no reason, and you're doing it in public. Oh man. Yo, let me tell y'all something. Going to the movies by yourself, there's nothing wrong with that. I actually enjoy going to the movies by myself. <laughs> like, for real, for real. Is there anybody else that can watch a movie by themselves? Now, I know some of the movie theaters are probably still closed as the time that you're watching this, but, like, were you able to go to the movies by yourself? Let me know. Some people think you're a serial killer if you do it by yourself. But I don't see nothing wrong with it. Has something happened to you? Look, see? This is what happens, man. You get caught up in your relationships, and now you're not on your job. You can't do any work. You can't focus. You're falling short in every aspect of life. Like, this is why you still have to maintain keeping up yourself. You can't keep depending on your partner to bring you happiness. You gotta be able to keep you happy, regardless. Roses are red, violets are blue. Fuck you, whore. <laughs> Yo, I will buy that card though. I don't know who I would give it to, but I will buy that card. That is hilarious, actually. Mary. <laughs> Mary! We've been stuck on this for an hour. This man is on top of the world. He can do his job so efficiently when he's in love. I hate summer. I hate her crooked teeth. I hate her 1960s haircut. I hate her knobby knees. I hate her cockroach-shaped splotch on her Yo, this man, like, literally tore her apart. Yeah, I loved her. What'd she do? She took a giant shit on my face. <laughs> <laughs> this man is hilarious. And she told you up front that she didn't want a boyfriend. Yeah. She like, what did you not get, fool? She told you everything you needed to know. Why are you surprised? This man is hurting. Oh man, ah, oh, you hate to see it. You really hate to see it. Well, I don't want to bother you. No, no, I um, yeah, let's let's get coffee. Bruh, you fell into her trap again. 
I'm telling you, being in love with pain, like that is a relationship that you have to find a way to get out of because, oh, it just leaves you so miserable and depressed. And you don't even just, you don't even know why you just keep wanting. Oh, oh man. Uh-uh, death just caught the bouquet. Uh-uh, schedule for this girl. She is the devil. Literally, she is making your life miserable. Every time she come back, she give you, it's like a dopamine hit. You just like, yes, you're excited and then you're miserable right again. Oh, the stress she's putting me and my boy through. I'm not even dealing with this, but like, I feel it. Love, shit, I don't know. As long as she's cute and she's willing, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like him, I like him. I feel you, bro. Yes, sir. I tell you, man, his reality is so, is so hard to swallow. Like, damn, I feel like I'm, I'm hurting with him. Oh, man. Cheat, cheat, cheat. I'm the hero of the- Oh, no. Oh, I got obliterated just now. Oh, that's why you can't, man. You cannot lose what you was doing, man. Ah. He don't have, he doesn't have an identity no more. Like he lost her and now he doesn't even know who he is. But buy cards because they can't say how they feel or they're afraid to. We provide the service that lets them off the hook. You know what? Low key, low key though, it's, it's lightweight true, but you also supposed to handwrite something in there. You can't just leave just the card message. Is, do y'all do y'all just leave the card message and just sign y'all names? If y'all do that, y'all exactly what he just said. But you should at least write something. The movies and the pop songs, they're to blame for all the lies. And the heartache, everything. And we're Bro, you just fell in love with a girl that didn't believe in the same stuff you did. This is the thing that sucks, man, is that like when you get like a really good dude that really wants to be good in a relationship, and then you get a girl that don't really care about that at the moment, like that girl completely destroys this man and turns him into an F boy and vice versa. And when you have a really good woman that really wants to do right and be in a relationship and all that stuff, and you got an F boy. That F boy turns her into, you know what I'm saying? Like, the cycle just keeps continuing because people rather play games. And my thing is, why the hell do you want to chase? You you would rather chase the one that you're not sure about. There's somebody that you for sure know right out the rip, but you don't want them. You want to chase the one that you don't know. We set our own selves up for failure all the time, all the time. No, I think you're just remembering the good stuff. Exactly. Go ahead, little sis. Put them up on game. Yeah, just think about how many times she played with your heart. Well, I don't really want to say, because like I said, man, she told you from the start that she wasn't looking for a love, like she told you. Oh, that's how the graduate ended. Look, and she just wasn't happy. Wait, this is supposed to be like the, the new age, the graduates? Hold on, oh my goodness, that, was this the correlation? Oh! That's what I'm saying, man. He was living in a whole nother reality. He was not present. Yeah. There we go. My boy getting back on his purpose. My boy is getting back on his purpose. That's why you should never forget what your purpose is. You know what's crazy is all I'm thinking about is how fast, like, to me, it seems like she already just like up and got married, but she could have actually been talking to this dude the whole time. Like, fellas, Oh man, oh, it's so many things that I want to touch on, but I just don't have the time. Y'all gotta understand, sometimes you can be the time hoe and you don't even know it. She just using you for that attention, the free attention you giving her, and that time she really don't want nothing else but that. <sighs> While she's actually talking to someone that she really wants to be with. And don't get me wrong, because men be doing it too. We be, we be having whole girlfriends still looking for our wives, so. That happens too. But for this movie though. So are you okay? I will be. Why do people who destroyed your life always try to come back and then ask you if you're okay? Like I was till you came back. You're married. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, huh? Yeah, cause you've been telling me that you don't believe in marriage or love. But you missed the, you missed the part where it was with you. Gosh, damn that hurts, man. Did what? What I was never sure of with you. Oh. Oh. She hit me in the gut just now. Damn. Why? 
Why did you have to come back and mess my life up like this? I just kept thinking, Tom was right. No. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I he, for a second, he felt good because it was like, oh, you thought about me? But bro, she thought about you while she wanted another dude. Oh, wasn't me that she makes me sick. I hate Summer too. And then she gonna touch his damn hand. Girl, I, stop playing with Tom. He's already gone through a, enough abuse. Leave Tom alone, please. He can't, we can't take no more. I really do hope that you're happy. That was him really saying, I really think you made a mistake and you'll regret it. But bro, she's not calling you. Yeah, I think I've seen you there. Really? Yeah. I haven't seen you. You must not have been looking. If Tom had learned anything... Oh, here we go. Want to get some coffee or something? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sort of supposed to meet someone after this. Oh, uh, my boy. Dang, man. My name's Tom. Nice to meet you. I'm Autumn. Oh, hell no. Nah. Get rid of the seasons. Get rid of all the seasons. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Try winner, bro. Try winner. It's time to fall back. It's time to fall back. All right. So that was 500 days of stress. Because that's what the hell I feel like right now. 500 days of summer. Huh. I mean, like, this was not a Thanksgiving movie. I am sorry for anybody that is currently going through a breakup or is currently in one. Like... This movie is tough. This is, they said it at the beginning. This is not a love story. It will not be a love story. Like they literally gave us the, the damn um, series of unfortunate events beginning. Just so you know, this is not a happy story about children and their family. Their parents are dead. You're like, damn, I just turned to page three. Can I get a second? At least give me the 15. It doesn't matter. Look, um, y'all, I'm curious, I'm curious. Uh, has anyone been through a scenario like this right here? You do not, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but I am curious. Have you ever experienced something like the 500 days of summer where someone lets you know, hey, look, I want us to just be friends, you know, and then y'all hook up casually or whatever. You might have caught feelings or that person caught feelings and you decided to, you know, fall back and then you ended up getting with someone else. Is that your story? Please feel free to share. I will say that I have been in that situation before. Not recently. I don't even think I would even allow myself to even get that close at this point in life. It just, I just, I just don't even think that it'll happen, but I can't act like that's never happened to me. So just even watching it, like it's just crazy how it can take you back into certain places. Like, and that's why I said it took me back into watching The Notebook. Now, if this is your first time on the channel, I want you to know that I have done The Notebook movie commentary. Feel free to watch that. It'll be in the playlist at the end of this video or one of those little cue card things. Feel free to watch it, but Man, people just playing with people's emotions like that. It's just like, bruh, y'all wonder why so many trash people out here, y'all are creating them. Like when you play games like this, what, how do you think someone turns out? Not the perfect citizen. But anyways, I'm done. I, I need to, I, I need to take a break. <laughs> I'm about to go to the gym. I gotta lift this stress off. So um, if you enjoyed this movie commentary, some of y'all probably gonna be upset. Some of y'all gonna be complaining. Some of y'all gonna think that I took the movie too seriously. Some of y'all gonna be like, Billy, who hurt you and all this other stuff. I just want to tell you, shut up. <laughs> Yo, I appreciate all the bingers, man. Like I said, if there is a movie suggestion that you wanna see me do, feel free to put it in the comment section. Just keep using that hashtag. Bingers, once again, shout out to my editor, Antonio. His social media links are bam, right there. Y'all give him a follow one time. Like I said, without him, this would not be possible. Um, yeah, until next week, y'all. I'll see y'all in my next movie commentary. Peace.